Okay, my dear P5 learners, welcome back to another lesson, which is uh, in mathematics. My name is Mr. Mugisha Emmanuel. In our last three consecutive lessons, I taught you about expansion of numbers. And I told you that numbers can be expanded in three ways. We can expand numbers using place values. We can expand numbers using values. And we can also expand numbers using powers of 10. We looked at various examples. And at the end of my lesson, I gave you an activity, which I hope you did so well. But just a quick review of what we looked at. We said, if we say, expand 4,627 using place values, place values, the key word in this question is place values. So in this case, I told you that you are supposed to identify the place values of each digit, 4,627. Get the place value of each digit. So the place value of 7 is 1s. The place value of 2 is 10s. The place value of 6 is 100s. And the place value of 4 is 10s. I mean, it's thousands. Okay. So since we are expanding using place values, we shall get 4 times 1,000 plus 6 times 100 plus 2 times 10, then finally 7 times 1. Here I have expanded my number using place values. Now, I may tell you to expand the same number using values. So when I say expand the same number using values, then it means you are going to do the same. 4,627, the place value, ones, tens, hundred, thousands. So we shall begin by expanding using place values. That is 4 times 1,000 plus 6 times 100, plus 4, plus 2, times 10, and finally 7 times 1. But here I have expanded using press values, yet I need values. Go ahead and get values. 4 times 1,000, we shall get 4,000. 6 times 100, we get 600. 2 times 10, we get 20, and 7 times 1, we get 7. So here I have expanded using values. The same number can also be expanded using powers, powers of 10. And I told you powers of 10 can also be called exponents. So we can expand this one using exponents. So when you talk about exponents, you talk about powers of 10, they mean the same. Therefore, 4,627, I told you to draw this box, these squares, and I told you that this number is in base 10. So since it is in base 10, each digit will be given 10, 10, 10, 10. And since we are expanding using powers, we are going to put powers on tens. And the first power is 0, 1, 2, then 3. So we shall have 4 times the corresponding number, which is 10 to power 3, plus 6 times the corresponding number, which is 10 to power 2, then plus... 2 times the corresponding number, which is 10 to power 1, then 7 times 10 to power 0. 
Basically, this is what we looked at in our previous lessons. So in our lesson today, we are going to look at how we can find the number which has been expanded. We are going to look at how we can find a number which has been expanded. And I'm going to use the same example. One. Which number? has been expanded to give, I can pick one method of expansion. Let me pick the second one. We have four times 1,000 brackets plus six times 100 brackets plus 2 times 10, then plus 7 times 10, 7 times 1. So I'm asking which number has been expanded to give this? And you can see the number is 4,627. So how do we get back the 4,672? We are going to get values, 4 times 1,000, we shall get 4,000, plus 6 times 100, we are getting 600, 2 times 10, we are getting 20, and 7 times 1, we are getting 7. Go ahead. We want that number which has been expanded. So what do we do here? We arrange our values vertically to get that number. So we shall have 4,000. We add on 600. We add on 20. Then finally, 7. Then we add to get that number which has been expanded. So we are adding. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 7. What do we get? We get a 7. 0 plus 0 plus 2. We get 2. 0 plus 6. We are getting 6. 4 plus nothing. We are getting a 4. There are 4. The number which has been expanded is 4,627. The number which has been expanded is... 4,627. Let's have a look at another example. If this one is A, this one is B, which number has been expanded to give 5,000? Can't even make it 50,000 plus 9,000 plus 40 plus Eight. Which number has been expanded to give? 50,000 plus 900 plus 40, then plus 8. So in this case, we are just, these are values. We are going to arrange these values vertically and add. So we shall have 50,000 then we add on 9,000 then we add on 40 and finally we add on 8 and we are adding those values. So which number has been expanded to give us these values? 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8, we get 8. 0 plus 0 plus 4, what do we get? A 4. 0 plus 0, we are getting a 0. 0 plus 9, we shall get 9. And 5 plus nothing, we shall get 5. So for this case, there are 4. The number which has been expanded to give us this is 59,500.
59,048. What if I give you a number which has been expanded using powers of 10 or exponents? That is our example C. Which number has been expanded to give us this number here? 5 times 10 to power 3, okay, plus 9 times 10 to power 2, plus 6 times 10 to power 1, then finally 4 times 10 to power 0. Which number was expanded to give us this one? So what do we do? 5 times 10 to power 3. When I say 10 to power 3, it means 10 should be multiplied by itself 3 times. So 10 to power 3 means 10 times 10 times 10. So 10 to power 3 will give us 10 times 10 times 10. 1, 2, 3. Okay? plus 9 times 10 to power 2 means 10 times 10. 1, 2, plus 6 times 10. Any number to power 1 is that number. Any number to power 1 is that number. Therefore, 10 to power 1 is the same as 10 plus 4 times any number to power 0 gives you 1. Any number to power 0 is 1. Your teachers have been singing that one, that any number to power 0 is 1. So if I get 1,000 to power 0, I get 1. I get t to power 0, I get 1. I get 2,000 to power 0, I get 1. I hope the point is noted. So go ahead and simplify this. 5 times 10, what do we get? 50. 50 times 10, what do we get? 500. And 500 times 10, what do we get? 5,000. So we have 5,000. Plus, 9 times 10, we get 90. 90 times 10, we get 900. Plus, 6 times 10, we get 60. And finally, 4 times 1, we get 4. So after getting values, what do we do? We arrange these values vertically and add. So we shall have 5,000. Then we add on 900. Then we add on 60. Then finally 4. And what are we doing? We are adding the values. So can we add it together? 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4, we are getting 4. 0 plus 0 plus 6, what do we get? 6. And 0 plus 9, we are getting 9. What about 5 plus nothing? We are getting 5. So since we are finding the number which has been expanded to give this, it means the number which was expanded is 5,964. 5,964. Let's have a look at another example whereby still we are looking at a number which has been expanded using powers of 10. Powers of 10. D. So we have 7 times 10 to power 4 plus 
3 times 10 to power 2 plus 7 times 10 to power 0. Okay? The number is 7 times 10 to power 4 plus 3 times 10 to power 2 plus 7 times 10 to power 0. So what have I told you? Expand this one. We shall have ten, 7 times. 10 to power 4 means you are going to multiply 10 by itself 4 times. So we shall have times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. The 4 which we have there. Plus 3 times how many tens? They are two. So it is ten times ten. Then plus seven times. How many tens do we have? Zero tens. And that's why we are saying any number to power zero is one. So this number to power zero will give us one. Go ahead and get values. 7 times 10, we get 70. 70 times 1, 10, we are getting 700. 700 times 10, 7,000. 7,000 times 10, we shall get 70,000. Plus, 3 times 10, that is 30. 30 times 10, which will give us 300. 7 times 1, we shall get 7. Therefore, we are going to arrange our values vertically to get the number which has been expanded to give this number. So we shall have 70,000. Follow the place values very fast, plus 300, so we have 0, 0, then 3, then plus 7. And we are adding. Okay? So we add. And when we are adding, we begin from ones. 0 plus 0 plus 7, we are getting 7. 0 plus 0, we are getting 0. 0 plus 3, we are getting 3. 0 plus 0, we are getting a 0. 7 plus nothing, we are getting a 7. Therefore, the number which was expanded to give this is 70,307. 70,307. You can see how simple today's lesson is. But I'm going to give you one last example whereby the powers are mixed up. So when powers are mixed up, what do you do? This one brings me to example next, which is E. We have 2 times 10 to power 5 plus 4 times 10 to power 1 plus 6 times 10 to power 0, then plus 9 times 10 to power 3. Do you see the way I have disorganized my powers? I have power 5, power 1, power 0, power 3. In most cases, when you see this, you say, oh, this question has a mistake. And you begin correcting. It has no mistake. That's how I have preferred to arrange my number. So what are we going to do? We are going to have two times. How many tens am I multiplying? They are five. So we shall have times ten, times ten, times ten, times ten, times ten. One, two, three, four, five. Then plus four times any number to power one is that number. So 10 to power 1 is 10. Plus 6 times any number to power 0 
You remember what I told you? N number to power zero is one. Plus, what do we have next? Nine times 10 to power three. So 10 to power three means you are going to multiply 10 by itself three times. So it is times 10, times 10, times 10. One, two, three times. Okay, can we get now the values? We can get the values. This one is going to give us two times 10 which is 20. 20 times 10, 200. Times 10, 300, I mean 2,000. Times 10, 20,000. Times 10, 200,000. Then plus. Four times 10, we shall get 40. What about six times one? We are getting six. What about 9 times 10, 90, times 10, 900, times 10, 9,000? Having got the values, I am now going to arrange vertically. But before I arrange vertically, you are supposed to rearrange your numbers in ascending order or descending order. So if I arrange my number in a descending order, it means I'm beginning with the biggest. So in this case, the biggest is 200,000. So we shall have 200,000 plus, what is the next in that order? Is it 40? Is it 6? 9,000. The next would be 9,000. Then plus, 40 and 60, which one is bigger? It is 40. So plus 40. And finally, plus six. Then you arrange vertically. 200,000. Add on 900, 9,000. Then plus 40. And finally, six. And what are we doing? We are adding. To get the number which was expanded to give us that number. Okay, we are adding. So in ones we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6, we are getting 6. 0 plus 0 plus 4, we are getting 4. 0 plus 0, we are getting 0. 0 plus 9, we are getting 9. 0 plus nothing, we are getting a 0. And a 2 plus nothing, we are getting a 2. There are 4. The number which was expanded to give this one is 209,046. The number is 209,046. That is the number which has been expanded to give this one. I think you have seen how simple today's lesson is. I'm going to give you an activity of about eight numbers. You have all the time at home. I expect you to sit down, do this work so well. Make sure you don't fail any number. This has been so interesting. I love you so much. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.